Hey, so today we're gonna to be covering how to set up conversion tracking on your Google Ads account. The example I'm gonna be doing today is for uh, essentially local lead generation. So we're gonna be tracking landing page phone calls, call extension calls, as well as form submits. And, um, and yeah, I'm just gonna be walking you through a demo campaign and showing you how to set that up for yourself. So if you're new here, my name is Chris. I talk about uh, everything to do with Google Ads and um, there's a lot of tutorials and case studies on this channel. So if you wanna see more stuff like that, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and um, let's just kind of jump right into it. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is obviously log in your Google Ads account. And then if you go up here, you're probably not gonna be see it here, it might be cut off, but there's a little wrench. You go to tools and settings, and then under measurement right here, go to conversions. And if you click on that, it's gonna bring up a page. If you haven't set up conversion actions, you're gonna see a page that looks like this. If you have set up conversion actions, there should be a little plus sign or a little um, you know, add a new conversion action button up top. But if you see something like this, the first thing you're gonna do is come down here, go to new conversion action, and you're gonna be given some options here. So like I said, we're gonna track three different kind of conversions for this type of campaign. We're gonna be tracking uh, phone calls from the phone number on the landing page. We're gonna be tracking phone calls to the phone number in the call extension. And then we're also gonna be tracking when somebody submits a form and becomes a lead that way. So first thing I usually do when I'm setting up uh, all these conversion actions is I'm gonna start with phone calls and um, we'll walk through that now. So just click on this phone call option and we're gonna start with the landing page phone call. So when somebody hits the landing page, they call the phone number on the landing page. You're just gonna go with this one, calls to a phone number on your website. Click that, hit continue. And first thing you need to do is set up some of these settings. So I'll usually just call this something like landing page phone calls. And I typically do not assign a value because uh, we're doing lead gen. The value is going to be kind of all over the place. If you do have an actual value for that action, you can obviously put the value in there, but I don't set one. Um, for the count, I just count one because if the same person calls twice, for example, I don't want to count that as two leads since it's just one person calling. So select one. And then this is where you're going to put in your phone number. So uh, for this example, I'm going to put in my phone number um, and then I'm going to cut to the next step after that. But put in whatever phone number is on your landing page. So however it shows up on your landing page, drop it here and then drop it in the display number right here. So just for uh, example's sake, you know, 555, 5555. And then I just take that, drop it in the display number right here. And down here with the kind of like tracking and attribution stuff, um, this call length can be totally up to you. I will usually set this somewhere around like 25, 30 seconds um, because let's say somebody calls up and the phone does not get answered. Uh, at least in my mind, that's still a good lead. Um, you know, if the phone get, didn't get answered, that's not the, the a lead quality problem. That's just the phone didn't get answered. So um, I usually track this at about like 25, 30 seconds. But again, it's totally up to you. If you want to track 60 seconds, two minutes, whatever, you can enter that here. Um, that's totally up to you. Attribution model, I typically, at least now, I'm kind of just leaving this as is. Um, this is most likely, you know, if it's a year from now, this is probably gonna change. I'm sure they're gonna get rid of some of these other things. So I just wouldn't even worry about that right now. And then um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop my phone over in here. Once you've done that, just hit create and continue and it'll take you to the next step. All right, so once you've put in your information, uh, you're gonna hit save and continue and then it's gonna take you to this next step here. Whenever I'm setting up a tag, I just do it myself. It's really simple. You don't need to be some like coding genius to do it. You just copy and paste some code and put it on your landing pages. So you just hit install the tag yourself and it's gonna give you a couple things. So this Google tag right here, you are gonna need to take this and put it in the head tag of all of your landing pages or every page of your website, wherever you're tracking those conversions, you need to take this tag and put it on every single page. So to do that, I just click this, and then I right click, I go to copy, and then I'm gonna jump over to where my landing pages are and then just show you where I paste it in. So for my landing pages, at least right now, I use WordPress. Um, this is pretty much gonna be the same process regardless of whether you're on a landing page builder, or you're on WordPress, or whatever the, the situation might be, um, it's all gonna be the same. There's always, uh, on any of those builders, there's gonna be some kind of uh, box like this, probably in the settings, that's gonna allow you to just copy and paste your code and then just drop it in the head. So in the settings for my theme here, there is this little box here that says add code to the head of your blog. So you wanna take that code and then just go in here and then paste it in. 
Um, so you're gonna have your uh, Google tag right here. And then by doing this, at least on WordPress, this is gonna apply to every single page on my site. If you are using a landing page builder, you might have to go landing page by landing page, but it's important that this code gets put on every single page that traffic is gonna be sent to. This includes the landing page, the thank you page, everything that is on your site or all of your landing pages needs to have this tag. This will essentially send kind of like a signal back to Google that somebody came from an ad, hit the page, and then um, will allow you to track things that way. So once that is set up, we're gonna jump back to Google and then we're gonna take the phone call tracking code and then paste it in the same place. All right, so once you have that pasted in there, you're gonna scroll down and you have this little phone snippet code right here. Now, what this is gonna allow you to do is you're gonna take this, again, you're just gonna copy this and this little piece of code will essentially allow Google to swap in a tracking phone number. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna look for the phone number that you put in, um, and this is just my phone number right here, but they're gonna look for whatever phone number you put in in the previous step on the landing page, and they are going to swap in a different phone number. Uh, once somebody clicks on the ad then lands on the landing page, that person is gonna see a different phone number when they call it. It's gonna allow Google to actually track that call and then log it as a conversion. So it's really, really important that you put this onto the landing pages, really any page that has the phone call. So I will put this on landing pages. I put it on the thank you page. Anywhere where this phone call shows up, I put this tag. So same process, you just copy it. And I'm gonna jump over and paste it in the same place. All right, so same process. Uh, I'm over in the settings. And what I wanna do is I just hit enter a couple times, paste it, and now I have my little phone call, kind of like phone number swapping script on there as well. And once you have both of those things installed, you can just hit save, and you should be good to go when it comes to landing page phone call tracking. So again, just to recap, you wanna make sure you have this global site tag on your page, as well as this little script to swap in the phone number. And again, make sure you have this on every single page. Um, like I said, I put it on landing pages, thank you pages, everything. Um, just kind of put it on everything. <laughs> That's kind of my advice. If there's a phone number on it, put this tracking code on it, and uh, it's gonna allow you to track everything uh, that comes through the phone number. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go through and we're gonna set up um, phone call tracking for the call extension. And again, it's really simple, and I'm gonna walk you through that right now. So to finish up this process, you just hit next down here once you paste those codes and you're gonna get this little confirmation page. You just hit done and you have set up that conversion action. So you should be good to go there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the call extension conversion tracking. Now, before we do that, you have to first set up a call extension asset or extension. They used to be called extensions, now they're assets. You need to set that up first before setting up this uh, conversion action here. So we're just gonna go back and then I just have this demo campaign right here. So just select the campaign level of your account, or rather the campaign level of your campaign. And you're gonna come over here to ads and assets. And then if we go to assets right here, you are going to just hit this little plus sign and then create a call asset. So what you're gonna do here is once this loads up, pretty much the same process. You're gonna drop your phone number here and it's really, really important. This phone number has to be on your landing page. So obviously you can use the same phone number that is you know, either on the header or whatever phone number you're using for the landing page phone calls. If you are using a separate tracking number for uh, these call extensions, you need to have that phone number somewhere on the landing page. If I'm using a separate call extension phone number, I'll drop it down in like the footer or something like that. But it's really, really important that you have this phone number on your landing page. So it's gonna be the same process. I'm just gonna drop my phone number in there for this. And then um, you should be good there. Um, we're gonna come back to this in just a little bit, um, this conversion action. But for the time being, just drop your phone number in there, hit save, and then it's gonna start going through the kind of approval process. So it's gonna be under review. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go back to the conversion actions up here and then we're just gonna hit uh, add new conversion action and then same kind of process, we're gonna go to phone calls and then we're gonna click this first option here, calls from ads using call extensions or call only ads, hit that, hit continue and then you're just gonna add in a conversion name. I'll just call this uh, call extension 
leads. I'm not going to assign a value. So same as the other one, we're only going to track one. And then again, call length, totally up to you. Attribution model, totally up to you. Um, again, I would try probably drop this down to like 30 seconds or something. Hit create and continue. And you're done. <laughs> so that's call extension leads. The most important thing again with this is that you set up that um, call extension asset because without that call extension asset, you're not really going to be able to track leads. Um, but one last step here is once you've created that, we're going to go back and then we're going to go back to our campaign. And then if we go back down to the assets and we want assets, not ads, just grab our call extension here. And then I'm just going to hit edit. And then you have conversion action. I'm just going to set the conversion action to call extension leads. So this, this is the, the conversion action we just set up. So pretty much what happens if somebody calls this phone number on the ad, it's going to log it as that conversion action that you have right there. And once you've done that, you hit save. So now you've got that conversion action set up. So anytime somebody calls that phone number on your ads, it is going to log as that call extension lead conversion action. And the last thing we're going to set up is the form fill conversion action. I'll walk through that right now. All right. When it comes to setting up the form fill conversion tracking, there's a couple things you need to have set up when it comes to your landing page or your website or wherever you're tracking those conversions. Um, if you're sending traffic to a landing page, you obviously need to have the form on there. Um, but what you need to have happen is when somebody submits this form, uh, they hit this get my free quote or whatever your call to action is, they submit the form, you need to have them redirected to what's called a thank you page. So this is just the default thank you page on my website. And the reason why you do this is when you send people from this page after they submit a form to the thank you page, we're going to be able to put a little piece of code on this page that will allow Google to track that as a conversion. So when somebody submits the form, they hit this page, the code will fire. And the only way somebody hits this page is if they submit that form. So that's why we, we redirect them from the form to this page, that code will fire and it'll log as a conversion on the back end of Google. So uh, we're gonna go through getting that code and um, I'll show you how I do it here. It's gonna be different for you putting the code on the page because I have to do it in a little bit of like a, a kind of a janky way for the setup, but it's gonna be the same process. You're gonna take that code, put it in the head of the thank you page. So you're gonna have the global site tag and then the um, also the thank you page conversion tracking on the thank you page. So let me jump over, show you how to get that code and we'll keep going. So same process as before to get the conversion tracking code for the um, form submits, hit new conversion action. We're going to go up here instead this time to website. And then first thing it's going to ask you to do is put in your domain. So I just put that in. It's going to scan for any codes that are on there. If you don't have any installed, it's obviously not going to pull anything up. But what I do at this stage is, you know, it's going to have this option right here, but I scroll past that and then I add a conversion action manually. So I hit that and it's going to be a pretty similar setup to the phone call stuff. So the goal and action optimization, I just click that, hit submit lead form. And then if we go to conversion name, I'm just going to call this something like lead form submissions. And then value again, I'm not going to set a value for it. And then we want it again to just be one as the option. We don't want to count every single form fill and then all of this, you don't have to worry about. Uh, and then once you do that just hit done and that's going to show up right here. And then you just hit save and continue. And then this is the point where it's going to give you kind of the instructions. You're going to get the code. And you're going to be able to copy and paste it over onto your page. All right, so with the phone call uh, setup step, we already put the Google tag on there, so you don't need to worry about this. So you've already pasted that Google tag on every page. And then what's more important right here is we have this conversion goal, the submit lead form. You wanna see event snippet. So click this. And then this is the uh, essentially little piece of code that you're gonna put on the thank you page. So just like the, um, you know, call tracking stuff, you want to take this, put it in the head of the thank you page. And it's really, really important that you just put this on the thank you page. Don't put this on every single page because if you put it on every single page, it's just going to be firing as conversions when somebody just hits the landing page. So you want to take this and then only put it 
on the thank you page. So to do that really quick, I'll just jump over and kind of show you what that's gonna look like when you install this on your thank you page. So again, your setup is probably gonna be different than mine. If you're on a landing page builder, you should be able to uh, just go directly to the thank you page itself and then edit the head code there. But again, you're gonna to wanna to look for some kind of a section where you can paste into the head of that land or that thank you page. And then it's gonna be exactly the same as everything else. You just go in here, you hit paste, and then again, you're just gonna have this little piece of code and that's gonna be on your thank you page only. So when somebody hits the thank you page, it's gonna load up that little piece of code and then it will fire as a conversion and then log that on Google. So once you've done that, you should be good to go. Just a couple more steps. Once you've got that pasted, you can just hit close on this window, hit done, and you should be good to go. So at this point, you should have your landing page phone call uh, conversion action set up here. You should have your call extension leads conversion action set up here. And then you should also see your lead form conversion action set up as well. So that's pretty much it. If you've done all that, you followed all the steps, you should have your conversion tracking set up for your campaign. Um, if you have any questions, obviously drop them in the comments below. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you are a business owner looking to build a campaign for your own business, generate some leads and increase your business through Google Ads, there is a link in the description to apply for a consultation. That'll send a little uh, form over to me. I'll see if I can help you out and uh, reach out to, uh, to see if uh, we can work something out. So um, that's it for this video. If you wanna see more, obviously like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.